California. I teach CCW private pistol lessons and private group lessons. I actually didn't grow up around firearms and there was a few things that hindsight was very basic information but while I was learning about firearms it seemed really complicated at the time. One of those things is the difference between a single action revolver and a double action revolver. Now I've had a lot of students also have that same problem just not quite understanding the differences. So I wanted to make this video and I hope it helps. First, I wanna talk about a single action revolver. So single action revolvers are super cool. I'm a big fan. The difference between a single action revolver and a double action revolver, we're gonna get into. Single action revolver, the trigger does one single thing and that is release the hammer, okay? So when I go to shoot this gun, I have to cock the hammer back manually each time before I press the trigger. Okay. Pressing the trigger will not cock the hammer, okay? So that's one thing. Single action revolver, again, in order to shoot this gun, every time I have to manually cock back the hammer, okay? When I cock the hammer, See how the trigger comes back a little bit further? So when it comes back a little further, that will allow me to have a very short, light trigger press, which will help with accuracy. Now, most single action revolvers also have what's called a loading gate. It's something right here. This is where you load your rounds into. This is designed where I can load one round in at a time. I rotate the cylinder, put another round in, rotate the cylinder, put another round in. So I can load one round at a time and unload one round at a time. Okay, let's talk about a double action revolver, okay? So double action revolver, first of all, the trigger does two things, okay? When I press the trigger, I can cock the hammer, watch the hammer, and the trigger cocks the hammer and releases the hammer, okay? Now, that can be really good for a self-defensive situation because of the simplicity of it, but I also want you to watch here on my trigger. Watch this, this distance. Um, it's gonna be long and it's gonna be heavy, so watch my finger on the trigger. As I press back the trigger, you can see the hammer coming back. So the trigger, again, it's doing two things. It is cocking the hammer and releasing the hammer. Something I can do with this double action revolver is shoot it in single action mode. So watch when I cock the hammer. See where that trigger went? The trigger went all the way back here. Now, what happens when I press the trigger? This, look at that, that distance the trigger has to go in order for the gun to go boom. It's very short, very light, making it very easy. It's single action mode. When you're loading a double action revolver, you can open up the cylinder and load all your rounds at once using like a speed loader. Um, and this can be very quick. A lot of people are very good at this and can do it just as fast as reloading a semi-automatic magazine, okay? And I can also unload my rounds at the same time versus the single action, you can load one round at a time, okay? Now a double action revolver would be a better option for self-defense. The reason is you can unload your rounds, reload your rounds quicker than a single action. You can choose to shoot this in either single action mode or double action mode, which gives you some simplicity. Okay, so again, 
We have a single action revolver, a double action revolver. The basics are a single action revolver. The trigger can do one single thing and that is release the hammer. You have to cock the hammer before you fire each shot. Double action revolver. The trigger can do two things. It can cock the hammer and release the hammer. Now this um, double action revolver can also be shot in single action mode, meaning that we cock the hammer manually and press the trigger to release the hammer. I hope this video helps. If you did find it helpful, please check out my Instagram. It's Crossstar Firearms or check out my website, crossstarfirearms.com. Thank you.